Good morning fellow allotmenters, my name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel for all things to do with allotment plots. My plot is based in South London and just making my way across the allotment plot site to my plot. It's kind of right over at the other end of the gates, which is always fun when you've got to take heavy things there, but I'm not complaining. I know I'm lucky to have one. I haven't been to my plot for a few weeks now just because the weather in the UK has been so terrible. It's just rained pretty much non-stop and there's no point me coming here because of all the weathers, rain is the one that just stops you from being able to do anything at all <laughs> there's just been no point getting down here I just can't do anything in the rain luckily it stopped raining this morning so I thought I'd come down see what I can get up to I see a lot of people's plots looking very very neat and lovely this one here in particular you can see it's all been freshly mulched and covered up pretty sure my plot's not going to look anything like this one I like to live on the edge a little bit with mine let it get really bad <laughs> before I do anything. Ooh. I think my wellies might have a hole in because I can feel my feet getting really, really wet. So not sure what the point of having wellies on is. Right, we're entering my plot now. Lo and behold. Okay, it's not quite as terrible as I sort of thought it was gonna be. I really envisioned it was gonna be a complete mess. The last time I was here was in the pitch black. Didn't quite see the amount of nasturtiums. My goodness, look at these nasturtiums. Oh my goodness, they have just gone absolutely crazy this year. Yeah, not looking too bad and I'm starting to get some leaves from this lovely big tree here, which should give me some really good leaf mould material. Slightly terrified my shed is going to be full of spiders. Haven't been in here for a little while, so we'll see. <laughs> They like to jump out on me, these blooming things. Right, my Sainsbury's bag for produce. <sighs> got my hat off, got my hat hair. Fantastic, right, we're here, we're here. We made it to the allotment plot. I'm so happy just to be here. Um, so, got lots of jobs to do today. I really wanna get on with starting to tidy up the plot and just making it look a bit more presentable. Um, gonna mulch it at the weekend. So we're going to get straight into it and have a look around and see what needs doing. This is good. So, the plot, oh my god, <laughs> it's falling everywhere. The plot is definitely in need of some TLC at the moment and to get an idea of what jobs to do, I'm going to actually check one of the magazines in the Readly app. And I have spoken about the Readly app before. If you're not aware of what it is, it's a subscription magazine service and basically it's got over 6,000 different magazines that are all saved online that you can just go into and have a look through, which is incredible. So loads and loads of different categories and you can just go through, you'll find something that you like. There's something for everyone on this app, seriously. They've got so many different magazines. Um, obviously I'm into gardening and they've got a massive variety of gardening magazines. And what they do in most of the magazines, I don't know if you've noticed, is a what to do this month in the garden. And one magazine in particular that does that is Kitchen Garden Magazine, which is what I'm looking at today. And I'm gonna look at their November edition of the magazine and just have a look what kind of jobs they recommend doing in the garden. Saves me making my own list at home, I guess. Um, so they don't actually sell November's edition in the shops anymore, but luckily with the Readly app, you can go back in time and look at a magazine from the past that's already been published and they're all saved on there so you're not going to miss anything which is excellent now i've actually downloaded the november edition uh, to my app and that means that i can read it while i'm offline my internet connection isn't fantastic at the allotment plot and i definitely i definitely wouldn't rely on it so being able to download it in advance and then refer back to it here is just very very useful so I'm gonna have a look at what they say to do and I see that one of the things that they are saying is to tidy up <laughs> uh, which I didn't really get the memo on I think so that is definitely a job I'll be doing today I actually might just go back to the October version as well the October edition and just see if there's any jobs that I didn't do and I'm, I'm sure there are gonna be and I've actually downloaded that one as well so I can access that really easily I can see it says clear old crops and I'm looking around and I've definitely not done that. <laughs> uh, plant strawberries, position cloches, steak, Brussels sprouts. Yep, that's definitely a job I'm gonna have to do. 
Right, fantastic. So I've got an idea now of the jobs that I'm going to do. There are so many more inspirational magazines to take a look at on the Readly app, so many different categories to discover and there's something for everyone on there. So do go and check it out. I'm going to leave a link in my description bar below and it's going to give you the first two months free. And don't forget you can cancel your subscription at any time, it's really, really easy. off got my hat off it's not actually that cold today <laughs> I'm very overdressed I've noticed that my parsnips are flopped and I'm not entirely sure what that means I think it possibly means they're ready to pick but I did want them to go through a bit of a frost but I don't know if that's gonna happen now so this is what my parsnips are looking like they've sort of looked like a giant fox or cat oh talk of the devil talk of the devil here he is it's the star of the allotment the one, the only, Rocky the cat. Hello, Rocky. Hello, Rocky. Yeah. Have you missed me? Have you missed me? Have you missed me? Have you sat on my parsnips? That's what I need to know. Right, so it looks like a cat sat on it. I don't know if that means they're ready or not. He's right on my lap now. He's right on my lap. I, I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> so awkward with animals like I just don't know like what to do with this cat <laughs> what to do with him can you that's it yeah can you come off can you come off me please <laughs> it's not even my cat do you know what I mean it's not even my cat why does it love me so much I've never even fed him down here is where I planted my garlic and my shallots now the shallots are growing not that one, that one's not, it's been dug up. <laughs> this one, no Rocky, no! No Rocky! Bloody cat, no! No Rocky, no! <laughs> what was that? What was that? Why did it run like that? We'll never know. This shallot here, and ignore all the grass, this is grass. <laughs> This shallot here, this is growing really, really nicely. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then over here, all of my garlic has come up wonderful. So this down here, this is a courgette that I planted ridiculously late and this is as far as we've got with the courgette. I think they were the yellow ones, the yellow ball ones. Give you a closer, closer look. I mean, if we hadn't had all that rain and cold weather, you know, this might have actually turned into something. Um, like I said, the plant still looks good. Oh God, there's a wasp right on the end of it. Well, that could have been disastrous. But yeah, there's some little little ones forming just behind the wasp there. Okay, we won't get too close to you, mate, it's all right. And then I've got some flowers at the bottom here. I'm wondering whether just to leave it and just let it go. I mean, seems quite happy sitting there, so. Highly, highly doubt it's gonna give me anything edible, but at the same time, the plant seems quite happy, so I don't really see the need to disturb him. Um, I've got some radishes growing just behind, and I don't know when they're ready, so let's have a look likely they might be ready. Oh, I can see they're really little. Oh, they're really cute. Let's pull this one up. Oh, look at him. He's fantastic. He's brilliant. Oh, they're brilliant. Oh, look. Oh, he's been eaten, but he would have been fantastic. Oh my goodness me, I've grown a radish. I can't believe it absolutely fantastic you know what it's funny because a few weeks ago i think i was rattling on about how i've never managed to grow a radish and i think i've grown more this year than i've grown in my entire life that's just the way it goes sometimes isn't it but 
I think growing radishes in the colder weather is probably the best. On the seed packets, I'm pretty sure it says to grow them sort of March, April, which made me think they were warm weather loving plants. Radishes are not. Radishes like the cold, um, not too cold, but sort of early spring and uh, like early autumn is when you're supposed to plant them and they just do really, really well. Um, I know this one's been munched but they are absolutely fantastic and I do love them. I actually like to eat them, so I have done really good, they have. I don't think I'll pick them all today. I think I'll pick them another day, but I'm chuffed with them. <laughs> down here there's a bit of a rogue parsnip and I noticed this earlier in the year um, he looks like the ones over there that I purposely grew in that he looks like he's flopped and been sat on by a cat so I think somebody told me that when they look like they've been sat on by a cat um, or they flopped whatever way you want to look at it that means they're ready to pick this one should be ready I'm gonna dig him up because he's a rogue one my ones are all, all the way over there these are the ones I actually purposely grew this is one that just decided just a gate crash basically but I'm happy because I get to eat him if he's okay so him and then pull him. I'm pushing him, I'm pulling him, I'm wriggling him, I'm yelling at him. He don't want to go out. Will you just come out? Get out. Oh. oh my god. Oh. If you don't want to pay for a gym membership but you want to get fit, just grow parsnips. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. I know I've like destroyed him a little bit in my attempts of getting him out, but he's a beast. Let's clean him up and have a look. Oh, look at him. Oh my God. Oh, what an absolute beaut. What an absolute beaut. If there's anything to motivate me to come to the allotment plot, it's digging up something like this. This will get me here now for every day for the next week. Just the thought of being able to dig something like this up is just incredible. Look at it. Look at it. it smells like a parsnip. I can't believe it. <sighs> out of the seed, out of the seed. Amazing. We've tidied up the garden a bit and we've harvested a amazing enormous parsnip. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. If you did, do subscribe to my channel and do check out Readly, the app. There's a discount code below where you can get your first two months for free and don't forget that you can cancel at any time at all. I think it's well worth it um, and it's just so great to have on hand all those different magazines to read. I absolutely love it. Um, so do go and check that out. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and I'll see you in my next vlog guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.